Hello and welcome to Spurred On. I am here with Emma. Now, the season is about to end. The transfer window is about to open. A lot of rumours are flying around Thanks about who we could sign. Now, we've got an amazing starting eleven, but it's fair to say we kind of lack squad depth a little bit. In certain areas, yes. Yes. So, we thought we would go through six players that we would like Spurs to sign, right? And they're not going to be crazy ambitious. I'm not going to say Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, What's obviously the point? we would. What's the point? We some would. of them are a bit too ambitious, but we just thought we'd go through some sort of semi-realistic players that we could potentially, maybe, if we're lucky, sign. You can kick us off. We need a striker. We do need a striker. Who would you um, like to see up front for Spurs? We have already been linked with him a lot. I think Michi Batshuayi. Yeah. Is, uh, I think I got that right. The first you did, time yeah. I Michi Batshuayi. I've actually been practicing because I was worried yes. I'd be able to say his name. Um, I think he would be the ideal player to come in as an understudy to Harry Kane. Yeah. I think he's young. He's hungry. I think he's the, exactly the sort of potch player yeah. that would fit right into our squad. He's Belgian. And he's Belgian, exactly. Why not just sign the whole Belgian national team? Exactly. Quite frankly. Um, so, yeah, he, he would be my pick. I think they're having a lot of discussions. I think it is a possibility. Um, 20 million odd. Yeah, I think he'd, he'd be a great signing for us. Uh, I think he'd be perfect. I think he would be slightly more willing to play second fiddle to Harry Kane than yeah. some of the other people on this list. <laughs> yeah, because um. the, the problem that we had when we were looking at this list was the fact it is one thing to want to sign these people, it's another thing about wanting to sign guys who are happy to come in and effectively not be automatic first choice because mm. let's face it, our first 11, generally speaking, is pretty damn brilliant. Yes, exactly, so yeah. finding those kind of players who you think, yeah, they might go for that. Yeah, but expecting... Harry Kane to play as much as he has it's played this impossible. year. It's just impossible. It's just impossible. It's so difficult, yeah. The fact that he's managed to not get injured at all. It just, it's well, just 90 minutes nose. all the time. It's just all the time. Relentless. Absolutely relentless. Although, did you see the other day in the Southampton match uh, when uh, I think NG was about to come on and they flashed up 10 <laughs> on the board and ev the Newcastle player who was coming on wasn't there yet, so yeah. everyone thought, what? what? And even Harry Kane just stood <laughs> still. Sorry? sorry? Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to just pick that up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's every professional it here so on professional Spurred On. Here so, yeah, the, the Southampton player wasn't there yet. So, he, even Harry Kane was going, put that up what you want. I'm not yeah, coming I'm off not the pitch. Off. Well, you did. But he must be knackered. How can he. And he's going to go to the Euros now as well and yeah. then still have to come back in then and play straight away. I mean, you know, saving graces, we've got automatic Champions League qualification, which means we won't have to do any playoff malarkey. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully, like, the incentive would be with somebody like Batshuayi coming is they are probably likely to get more of a chance in the league because you would think that Harry would play all our Champions League games. Yes, of course. So, that you therefore, you know. Yeah, Batshuayi I think would be a quality one. Uh, another Belgian striker that... Oh, Perhaps slightly less realistic. Maybe less realistic <laughs> is Lukaku. I would love Lukaku to come to the Did lane. Um, he's proven in the Premier League as a quality striker. He wants Champions League football. He does want Champions League uh, football. Everton are rubbish now. Yes. All of a sudden. They are well, actually, it's not that sudden, is Sorry, it? It's been quite gradual. The, I was going to say, the second half of this season, they have just yeah, been terrible. They have declined. They do that the second half of a lot of seasons, though. Yeah. Uh, and they, he has made it quite clear as well, hasn't he, that he's interested in perhaps not he's too good. He's, Goodison. Yeah, he's too good for Everton. And uh, he is good enough for Spurs. <laughs> so I'd love to see him come to us. <laughs> he's less likely to be willing to play second field to Harry Kane. Yes. Especially as a, like, a proper proven Premier League striker. Yeah. But... On like a rotation, it'd be, it'd be amazing to Oh, it'd be amazing. I suppose the other thing you'd have to worry about with him as well would be the sticking point of the fee, because I imagine that Everton mm. probably wouldn't sell for less than 30. I don't think they'd sell for less than 50. Oh, whoa. Whoa. It's 2016, hey. mate. 50 million is nothing. Right. Okay, then 50. Oh, yeah. We, we, <laughs> we're less likely to pay the fee. We're less likely to pay wages he wants and yeah. could get elsewhere. So it's probably a bit unrealistic. But he but would be brilliant. We do, and we can now offer Champions League football. So like the sort of people we can attract is going up. And maybe Lukaku is in that bracket. Uh, and maybe Axel Witzel is in that bracket. <laughs> gonna keep going Another <laughs> Belgian. So he's going to keep going through Belgians? Yeah, we just looked at the Belgian national team and, and just went, right yeah, we'll just have some of them. That's fine. Ideally. Um, yeah. I think he'd be, we were talking about uh, is Mason good enough replacement? We, obviously, we've got Dyer and Dembele are amazing sentiments to have. But on a rotation system, again, they can't play as many games. No. Um, so who would be a good centre defensive mid to have? He's also versatile, so he's played on the on right in right mid for on the wing for a while for Zenit and 
attacking midfield. His main position is centre mid. I think he'd be great. I think he'd be a great signing. Yeah. He's mates with all of our players. Well, yeah, <laughs> they can all chat to him about how great it is to be in Northampton. Yes, exactly, yeah. Um, and I think also, you know, with signing somebody like him, it would potentially give us the versatility to move Dyer back into centre back if we had to. Yeah, yeah, So good point. Um, he's only got Zenit as well. Exactly, Zenit. Yeah. Give him two million. He in Russia. Yeah. yeah. God. It's London. It was sunny here, like on Sunday. Yeah, we've got two-day <laughs> summer, and it's it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely here. Um, um, but speaking, another centre mid option. Well, yeah. Speaking of centre mids, and you know, people who can come in and do a job and deputise potentially for our wonderful DD mm. partnership. Uh, we've been linked with him before. We almost got a move over the line for him, Victor Wanyama. Yes, who was very good against he us. He was excellent at the weekend. Yeah. And I mean, in fairness, he's been excellent all season. This is big not, unit, big old unit. He is a big old unit. He's he. It's kind of more in the Dembele sort of mould, yeah. isn't he? In terms of his like big physical, you're not taking the ball off me kind yeah. of strut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, we know that he's been very interested in a move to Spurs, so I... Yeah, he likes Poch. Yeah, of course. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like Poch? And if you don't, what's wrong with you? Um, but yes, I think he would be great. Um, I was disappointed when we didn't sign him originally. Then yeah, me too. Then obviously Dyer stepped up and it all changed. But, but you know what? In the centre-mid position, I don't think it's the same as the playing second field to Harry Kane. I think the centre-mid will be rotated yeah. a lot more, especially yeah with the, the Champions, Champions League, League games yeah. and stuff. So I think you've got a good chance of playing as much as each other. Yeah. So I don't think he'd be deterred by that, the fact we've got two quality ones already. Well, he's Plus, it'd be like, he's the sort of player who you'd think would go, I'm willing to come in and fight for my place. That's exactly what I was going to say. He's shown that he likes to he yeah. just fight for things and fight for his place, I think he would. So, yeah, I mean, potentially. And we all want good competition. The last thing we want, as we saw with Davis um, and uh, Trippier coming in alongside Rose and Walker, made Rose and Walker play a hundred yes, times better, exactly. having real top level competition for their places. And you want the same throughout yeah, the team. Exactly. Think, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Wanyama. Yes, please. Yeah, although I think that's fairly realistic. Although whether Southampton would do business with us, don't know. But you know, you never know. Oh, we'll just, just <laughs> cough, cough up the cash and it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, one that is that was very near to happening in the last transfer window, it seemed, mm. we don't know for sure, was uh, the other Moussa Dembele. Oh. At Fulham. Yeah, we've already got a chant for you, mate. <laughs> exactly. We don't We've even need to one. make up a new one. Come <laughs> along. Uh, he's a striker. Yes. Plays for Fulham. Yes. Young young lad. Le- very promising and attracting interest from a lot of big clubs. Yeah, very much so. Um, again, another one who I think is a real kind of potch player. Mm. He's quite versatile up front. He's young. He's hungry. I think he's impressed. Even though Fulham have had a pretty rubbish season. Yeah. I think he's still impressed with them. And Bit I a bright spark. Again, it's that sort. It's that balance between having somebody who can come in, can, can oh, I can't get my words out, can come in and do a job, but will also be happy to be not first choice. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's young enough to go. Yeah, I've got a lot to, to learn go, here. A bit like the way Kevin Vimmer does now. When yeah. he came in, obviously, when Jan was injured, but then has now stepped back and doesn't seem to be too upset about not that bothered, at this yeah. stage. So yeah, I think he'd be good. Am I right in thinking because we? Were we not willing to pay five million or something, and then we we bailed out, and it's because his contract is up in the summer. Yeah, it all got it all. Got Has he since signed a new contract? Um, I or is his contract out in the summer? Because it's a contract is out in it the is. summer. It is. Um, but it's a tribunal. The issue with it was the fact that we wanted him to come and join the first team straight away, as opposed to loaning him back. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? A la Delhi Ali style. Um, and because we obviously really wanted to cover for Harry Kane, we were like, no, we don't want to do that. And then Fulham were like, well, sod you then. Yeah, so and then we didn't get any cover. No. And then we didn't win the league. Is that... Yeah, yeah OK. That, I'm not saying that's necessarily <laughs> why, but, you know. Come on, keep it cheerful. This is about the summer now. <laughs> OK, about OK. Exciting people we're gonna sign. Well, here's a really unrealistic <laughs> one. Virgil van Dijk from Southampton. What? The, ne- the yeah. other Southampton player. Uh, I'd like us to get another centre-back, ideally a right-sided one. I think Van Dijk is versatile enough to play either side, yeah. really. I think he's been absolutely quality this season. One yeah. of the best centre-backs in the league this season. Um, we love a Southampton centre-back coming to Spurs. <laughs> um, I think he'd be class. He has just signed a new six-year deal and <laughs> dedicated his future to Southampton. And but if he you won't, overlook that... Definitely won't come to us, especially <laughs> if we're getting Wanyama. But I just thought, you know, chuck in a defender. Well, we needed to chuck in a defender, and it's been interesting because we were actually we were sort of sitting down about how to compare this, we were thinking who would we really want that's actually going to improve the existing lineup that we've got. Yeah. And it's actually, it's lovely to be in a position where you're sitting there going, do you know what? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who I would want instead of. Or as, exactly. You know, Again, like he wouldn't, I wouldn't. Or, and, and Vimmer has, has, has been such a brilliant um, backup. Obviously, we're going to need somebody because hopefully Fazio is not coming back. Hopefully. Yeah. He's only played six games yeah. well, since yeah. he's left. But Yeah. But still, who knows? Yeah. Back. 
Um, so we're going to need somebody, but that's it, quite unrealistic. It needs to be the right player. But the reason I put him is because there's six players that we would like to sign, yes. and there's loads of like we're linked with players from Valencia and stuff like that, but I just haven't seen enough of them. So yeah. I no. could I could do some googling and find out some stats, but I've watched Van Dyke play and I think he's <laughs> quality. Great, yeah. I very I mean, much like him and well. a lot more than John Stones. This is what Paul Mitchell and the boys are there for. I mean, they found us Kevin Vimmer, who's been brilliant. So yeah. Exactly. So argue. there you go. There's our list of Belgians and strikers. <laughs> uh, and Southampton players. And Southampton players, <laughs> yeah. Let us know in the comments if there's any players we haven't mentioned who you think we should sign, who'd be good prospects. Uh, I know a lot of you play FIFA and find out from there, not that that works. Uh, but do let us know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop us a like and we'll see you next time. Hello, welcome to another episode of Spurverts. I am here with Emma Story. Emma, how are you? I'm all right. Yeah? Ish. Bit, bit Ish. sorrowful. Bit sorrowful.